Welcome back to this lecture. In the previous tutorial, we discussed about the basics of neurons and how are they working. We also had a discussion, brief discussion about the nervous system that is working inside the body, which is connected to the brain. So, let's take a closer look towards neurons and the working of our sensory system, sensory motor and how is this working all together as we discussed that neuron is a cell body it, it is made up of cell body and branches called dendrites and axons which are dendrite which, which receives messages from other neurons and sends them to the, the cell body and axons carry messages away from the cell body so dendrites they are taking the messages towards the cell body these are the dendrites these are taking messages towards the cell body while axons are taking the messages away from the cell body we can call these the center and the receiver like the antenna receiver uh, that, that we were having in the old times if any one of you were born in 90s you must be you must have noticed a television along with your along with an antenna located on top on the terrace so that's a dendrite we can term that as a dendrite which was supposed to receive signal now there is a guy that is broadcasting that telecast that is coming on your television that is sending that's called axon I hope you guys were able to make some sense out of this brief example so these are electrical messages that are being carried by a neuron when these electrical messages are getting carried through a neuron it's it's termed as an impulse that we have detected an impulse so receiving impulse and sends impulse so receiving impulse is dendrite and sending impulse is axon so where is dendrite located dendrite is located near the cell body while axons are taking the messages away from the cell body so they are also away from the cell body so between these we are having a transmitter which is known as myelon sheet there is also the soma all here and at the center we can see the nucleus so Cytosoma consists of nucleus and cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is the outer area uh, that is outside the nucleus. So now we come towards the type of neurons. So there are three brief categories over here. There is a sensory neuron, a motor neuron, and an interneuron. So we can take some basic sense out of it. And what is the basic sense that we can take out of it? That sensory neuron must be receiving some sensory signals. The five senses that we are having. Along with another sense which is also known as the mystery six sense. Then comes the motor neuron. And then comes the interneuron. Let's get into detail. So sensory neurons, they receive information and also sends impulses to the brain. Now we know what impulses are. Whenever a neuron is carrying some messages, that is termed as impulse. So these are neurons that are carrying messages. The sensory, these sense impulse to the brain or the spinal cord. It could be the brain or it could also be the spinal cord, depending upon the signal. Then we come to interneuron. These sends these send impulses from the sensory neuron to the motor neuron. So we can call these as the intercommunicator. 
or the translator which is sending which is taking the impulse from the sensory neuron and sending it to the motor neuron and then what does motor neuron does so motor motor neuron conducts the impulses from the brain of the spinal cord to the muscle or the glands throughout the body so at the molecular level at the lowest level motor neurons are sending that signal wherever it is required wherever the person supposedly the person is trying to apply some force to move a car or move a rock so there are some energy that is required so there, there would be some impulses that will be sent to the brain to supply some energy or ATP uh, adrenal triphosphate which is the chemical that's generating energy throughout the body ATP ATP it's also known as glycogen glycogen produces ATP so these motor neurons conducts impulses from the brain or the spinal cord to the muscle or the glands throughout the body that's the big task so everyone is performing their own task and and we cannot term that as like someone is doing more important task or is the motor neuron doing some less important task all of them are doing their respective work and that's all is necessary if supposedly interneuron or sensory neuron was not there there would be a big problem so synapse and these are also called small spaces across which an impulse moves so there are, there are some space required for an impulse to move from an exon to the dendrite or the cell body of another neuron so we can term these as a neural network is what we will be studying in the coming tutorials taking a briefer look so we can coin or term synapses as small spaces across which an impulse moves from an exon to the dendrite it's through the synapse in within which these axons are moving towards dendrites like sending and receiving signals or it could be a cell body of another neuron considering this is a dense neural network that you have created inside the brain everyone has these neural networks <laughs> taking some more details into synapses an impulse reaches the end of an axon axon releases a chemical that, that could be adrenaline, serotonin, dopamine or it could be another chemical as well melatonin which is the sleep chemical through which we are able to see dreams etc the, so these flow across synapses now what flows across synapses? it's impulse it's a neuron carrying some information so this stimulates impulse in the dendrite of the next neuron then later on the impulse moves from neuron to neuron to a body of another neuron cell body so these are the dendrites these are the synapses here is the nucleus so within the synapses the neuron is moving so an impulse reaches the end of an axon so here the impulse reaches the end of an axon after reaching the end of an axon axon releases the chemical so here or say this axon releases the chemical now after releasing the chemical it flows across the synapse and stimulates the impulse in the dendrite of the next neuron so here from here now it reaches the dendrite so it, it carried all the way from here to here so here here the path moving towards and then it reached here that's the whole process of communication with the neurons so then impulse moves from neuron to neuron to the next neuron then again the same process repeats So two parts. Uh, there is a central neuron 
and there is a peripheral neuron. So central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. Central nervous system begin is uh, which we discussed in the first lecture too. So these are the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The peripheral nervous system is coined by the peripheral glands. So we'll be taking a briefer look towards on the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system in the next tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed this lecture. If you guys are having any doubts, any suggestions, any comments, you can leave them, drop it down in the comment section below. Thank you guys and happy learning.